Oi, oi. Hi everyone, I'm the Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Groove Rider of the Electrical World. Just doing bits. I hope you recognise me. I ain't got my normal top on tonight. I'm still uh, still here working, so I thought I'd uh, quickly do a quick review. What it is, is I got this uh, Volt. I've... Uh, I've done, I've done a review, I can't remember if it was on, on here or whether it was in Instagram, but someone mentioned it was, I was, I was uh, reviewing the, the, the Fluke T5 and someone mentioned that it's actually a multimeter and I 100% agree with it because you can adjust the voltage and all that, even though I still use it as a voltage indicator and I highly rate it, but I've gone for a little bit of a journey. I've got like this summer, I've probably bought about five or six of them and uh, coming about. And this is probably one of the most interesting ones that I've come about. This is the Ideal Von Con Elite. And this is the 90. I have just seen on uh, YouTube is that they do a 92 that makes it vibrate, which I think is hilarious because I can't actually tell you what I actually really call it. I call it the uh, love stick for now. But if you look at it, it looks a bit like uh, a spicy adult toy, doesn't it? You know, it's like when I had it at home on the bedside cabinet, it's like, all right, slow down, Willie, do you know what I mean? And uh, it's, yeah, but what I must say about it, it's pretty cheap. I got it from, uh, I got it from Dave from Ideal. He's on Instagram. I'll put a link below. And he can also give you a code as well. I think it was 45 quid with the code. And impressively enough, it comes with a lock-off kit, an adult one, as, uh, sorry, an adult, an apprentice one. And it's really nice. And I've got it, and a couple of the features what I do like about it is that I know a few of you lads, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm, this is a light-hearted review. I will attach GS38 to the bottom, so, you know, and it's a cast class free and it's protected by 120 milliamp fuses. The fuses must be inside, yeah? So, it's obviously got the non-contact. You have to press the button down for that to work. It's also... Also, it, it reads uh, AC and DC, and it's got a different window. I might give you a quick little close-up. I might even, I'll do you a little close-up of how it does it. So AC, it goes on to, you know, it goes on to one window and then the other. One thing I was quite impressed with, with it as well, it's got, it's got the leads. I must say the leads aren't too nice. If I was to tell you what the body's like, the body's very similar, and it's like the similar plastic to uh, the Fluke T5 and T6 or the Fluke meters, so it is quite nice. It does seem quite durable. I think, you know, joking apart, I think the actual design is to get in your pocket really neatly as well. And what I like is the leads do come out, so if the leads do get damaged or, they do, or, or other things. Another thing is what I like about the leads being detachable as well is that you can do various other tasks you know you don't have to use them leads in like these I'll just grab my uh, I'll just grab my mega leads as well obviously a bit tangled up it's honestly doing these sort of presentations or whatever you want to call them is a nightmare because you know you get so much stuff in the way you know so obviously these are the mega ones so you know, and I think that's pretty good because if you're looking for a break in a ring, like ring final circuit or anything like that, you can do it. You know, you don't have to get your MET out because a lot of these meters, I think it, the T5 do have detachable leads where you can actually put, uh, actually put crocodiles on the end of them, but most of them don't. And like, you know, which I find quite surprising. What I'll do is I'll quickly change, I'll quickly change one of the leads and uh, I'll quickly show you what it's like in the proven unit, proven unit and what it's also like on a DC battery as well. Just to go show you, I'll try and I'll try and do it like that. Well, what I'll do is I'll do a close up. I'll, I'll record a close up and put it on the screen as we're doing it. So I'll quickly show you that. So that's really that is really sound. Look at that, the, the display there, really nice and clear. It lights up the AC uh, window as well. And I'll quickly show you the DC. So I'll get the battery. I'll just pr quickly prove that it works. This is a little trick we used to use all the time, like uh, when we used to do fire alarms and all that. We used to do like uh, battery backups and all that. So we used to have to use the 24 volt batteries of our drills and all that, you know, to test test the fire alarm systems and that. So what I'll do is I'll quickly whip these off because you need them to get in the the glass. Yeah, see that goes up there, and then you've got the ace. Then you've got the uh, DC there, 
and it's got the plus and the minus. So if I swap them round, them leads from there, bizarrely enough, these batteries don't have the plus and the minus written, written on the terminals. I'll quickly just do it there. And there you go. It's an absolute blinding bit of kit, I tell you. Really nice. You know, as I say, it does do one that vibrates and all that. I think they've been out for quite a few years. I don't really know. Ideal is quite, it's quite funny, really, Ideal, because it seems like quite a new brand. But ever since I've been doing electrical work, like especially the Yellow 77, I'm sure I've bored you with it on other videos, is that they've, uh, they've been, been around for ages. Another good thing is if you're using these leads, very similar to the T5, you've also got one there where you can put it in the holder. So obviously you can work with it. Really nice. I'm really impressed with it. You know, as I say, if you can get that code off Dave and get it for 45 quid and the lock off kit, it's an absolute bargain. You know, one thing I must say that I did, I did do, which all the others do is when I took the batteries out and I done it in the proving unit, none of the lights work, you know, so whether that's against GS38, it'd be interesting to know in the comments and all that. So I did try quite a few of the others and they always had one, at least one light come on to determine. But myself, I always prove on a, I always, uh, I always prove safe isolation on a known supply. Unless I've got no access, then I'll take this as well, you know. But I don't think that light is that, is it that important? Because you do have a light test, its own self test button when you press the non voltage. I don't know. I don't want to get into it too much. But anyway, just a quick little review of that. You know, nice. I probably will review quite a few of the others, but. Yeah, it's really nice. This one actually stays in my uh, test kit tool bag, so we use it quite often. It's not the main, you know, we've also got a fluke in there as well. But yeah, I, I really like it. Nice, cheap, you know, quite well made. You know, that's rugged as anything. That's going to last a lot longer than the lead is, it leads are anyway. Right, just another quick view video. I thought um, <laughs> that's me done. So if you're going to be anything, than be electric also if you could do us a massive favor and help support the channel if you could like subscribe and turn the notification bell on it helps the channel grow thanks a lot